just lost an hour's worth of footage. Thanks GoPro! Remember Mike, take it steady. You do not have your adventure wheels on. <laughs> Who needs knobblies, eh? Who needs knobblies? It do skip around a bit, these super motor wheels. Keep it loose, Mike. Keep it loose. So it's been two years. I was just saying before my camera died. Power walking. The last time I came out on the trails was like the beginning of the summer. And I came out with my brother and he was on a... Uh, Varadero 125 <laughs> the bike that I first learned to ride a motorbike on when I did my CBT and I started riding to London but these guys they're gonna let me through yeah they're gonna let me through cheers guys and we did a White Ways Cafe actually no we did Rikers to White Ways Road boring and uh, then we did White Way to Lumi's using the tat and I wanted to prove to him that it's not about having 50-50 uh, tyres the right bike, it's all about the rider, it's about the attitude so I was on, on the other 690 which is a Duke <laughs> have a look on Instagram if you want to see what that looked like on that day nothing special, it's just currently it's only got the only modification it's got is a modified exhaust header so it no longer goes underneath the bike so you've got a bit of a ground clearance there it's a sick little bike off-road and it's really low seat height but we'll get into that in another episode because i've got some major plans for that bike i've got some major plans for this bike let me find the next bit of trail and we'll carry on talking so i didn't film ride out with my brother I probably should have done it was oh hot doggo hello you right there bud probably should have done because it was an awesome day out like he dealt he dealt with off-road riding for the first time in his life like a champ honestly it was incredible it wasn't far by any stretch but really did listen to everything that I was saying to him about techniques, gripping with your knees and all that stuff. They get me wrong, I'm no champ. But he did really, really well. It's really nice to just go out with somebody who just wants the length of adventure. I was so proud of him. Anyway, tell you what, I was gonna be all smug about how you don't need knobblies, but like, so I just so rubbish at understanding suspension. That's the one thing, you know, I can happily build an engine now and all that stuff and blah blah blah. But when it comes to like setting up your suspension, I just don't like it. I just thought I don't like it. I'm just rubbish. Skippy, skippy. come to life and work properly when you go a bit faster. Is this a good place to take a picture of the bike? Uh, it's a bit shadowy at this point. Moving on. So the, the plan for today was loosely, loosely, to come out, get up this morning after a good night's sleep, get the bike in the garden, switch the wheels over to the enduro wheels, and then come out, get some trail time, seat time. 
with the enduro wheels on and tune the suspension because it's, it's one of those things that I just kind of fear. I don't really know what I'm doing. I quite often just feel like I can't tell the difference in what I'm doing unless I make it really hard or really soft. I can't feel the nuance in between. The truth be told, I'm feeling this setup. <laughs> It's feeling pretty good, like it feels nice the, the more I the more I uh, apply some speed. Yeah, the more I apply some speed, the more it seems to work. It just feels a bit dreadful going slow. And whether it will feel like that when I put the enduro wheels on, I do not know. And also, I really want to use up my uh, my Michelin Anarchy Wilds quite simply because I want to get some trail time, seat time in on a uh, something. A bit more focused for off-road. So, this morning didn't quite go to plan. I did not get the amazing night's sleep that I was hoping for. And as wonderful as she is, my girlfriend went out and got a little bit smashed. And when she's a bit smashed, as tiny as she is, she snores like giant up 30 stone fat bastard and uh no matter how many times i tried to... oh horse shit which means horses no matter how many times i tried to like wake her up and like get her to stop snoring roll her over or whatever she just immediately just started snoring again so when i woke up i couldn't be Off. I couldn't be off to bring the bike in and switch over the tyres. I was just in a foul mood. I just wanted to get out of the house. It's not her fault that she snores. It's not like I could ask her to lose loads of weight and stop snoring. It's just because she's got a really cute little nose. Thank you. It is a road. Don't look at me like that. And so I came out and I was all like, just bring the bike in. Sort it out. And as soon as I saw the bike, I was like, oh, okay, let's just go for a ride. As is, who needs knobblies? I mean, I say that now, I'm probably going to need knobblies. I'm going to think I need knobblies when I come off in about 20 minutes because I'm just man without grip soon to be man down but you know what these Michelin power 2 CTs are doing pretty good can I complain oh, I can't complain very little grip <laughs> and they skip here to park on the gravel stuff I do have Kenda's equivalent of uh, the uh, Scorpion Rally STRs at home ready to go I was going to put them on the Duke but actually again I'll come to that in a different video I'm going to go a different way with the Duke but I will give you a little teaser for what's happening. Both these bikes have been entered into a rally. The Duke and this, which has got its indicator on. Dickhead.
do say I like the torque of this here motor I built. Full disclosure, I've got to get that Jeep ready. Literally, actually ready to race off-road. And I have spent a small fortune on parts. They're coming from all over the world. And I was going to say, from the time that I did take it off-road, the Duke that is, I did think to myself, kind of, dare I say it, I kind of prefer it. But I think more than anything, I had just gotten to a point where, um, I had, I had put this monster on a pedestal. I was just a little bit scared of it, kind of thing. Fearful that it would be too much power. But I've got to say, for, um, for an engine that I built myself, tuned myself, not buttery smooth but it's real power it's real nice power it's more than I had before but not loads yes I know everyone's waiting for me to dyno it doggle hey little doggy maybe tomorrow you'll want to settle down until tomorrow you'll just keep moving on Yeah, I know um I know some of you out there really want to see a dyno of this, but stay on a dyno and I do want to do a couple of different things. I want to try not just this exhaust, I want to try the DCAT stock exhaust to see what kind of power that puts out compared to this. I want to try a few different what are they called? air filter setups. I've got the um, the rally foam filter thing but I want to try both sets of exhaust I want to try both sets of exhaust with um, different airbox setups. I want to try the foam air filter. I want to try the foam air filter with the regular K&N air filter underneath it as well. I want to try baffling, baffle out, all that shit. So I think I might do all that stuff. Hello, what have we got here? Slow control. <laughs> that all the evils you get honestly you wouldn't think it's a byway open to all traffic used to be a road would you you wouldn't think that why can't people just share, honestly? Here we go, slippery clay. First day of ever riding off-road, I came around this corner a bit hot and it was all so slippery. Got pretty sideways. Feels like so many years ago now. Oh, hello. chance of the super motor wheels on. Sketchy enough as it is. Under here is always so damp. Ooh, 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 ooh. I 
so out of practice. Mm. Do you like this little bit? Never know what's around this corner there. Yeah, I can't afford to do a dyno run anytime soon because of the, the Duke project. It'll all be entirely worth it. I'd rather get her bike ready to do some serious off-roading. bike ready for some serious off-roading and semi-bankrupt myself in the process than um, spending a day just getting some numbers on the dyno it feels like something that I would rather do before I take this bike to uh, the track I'm thinking about doing like a weekend at Almeria in like November kind of thing it'll be the first time I've ever taken any bike on like a racetrack as such but I think if I'm going to do that I might take it Jesus Christ it's so out of shape I might take it to a dyno first smooth it out a little bit it's pretty smooth already where are the girls there they are hey ladies you right? Hey! How you doing? You gonna come and say hi? No? It's only me. There we go. How are you? You are right? It's okay. It's only me. That's a lot of flies there, bud. That's gotta be so annoying. You're all absolutely riddled in flies. I know. It would be so annoying. If only you had like a really long tail to like get rid of them with. That'd be good, eh? Nice to see ya. Mind the cables on the fence. It's barbed. It'll hurt, it'll hurt. It'll hurt, mind your nose. Mind your nose. It's nice to see ya. I'm gonna move on. I mean, look at that. Sick. Who says you need knobblies? Beautiful. See you later. Right, everybody's least favourite thing. Supermoto tyres. Sand. Uh, hideous. Where this water coming from? Yeah man, who needs, who needs knobblies? This is so much fun when it's dry. Yeah, there's not much, not much actual grip. Once you loosen up a touch. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a dog somewhere. Stretch. 
Oh, it resurfaces. Don't know why I'm coasting down this on my own channel. Did just overtake a walker, but with his dog. I guess this is what it's like to be on an electric dirt bike. I kind of need a piss, but I don't want to take a piss in front of this house. Hopefully there's no one on this trail. Love this bit of trail. It's a nice little steady uphill. get a little bit rubby oh yeah we're here Shithead. this tree was like fully blocking the way last time it took us like 20 minutes to get over it dedicate that section to my little brother we had a lot of fun getting his Varadero through there as he stalls it okay let's make it interesting I'd like to dedicate this section to my wife she likes to call this, call this she likes to call this Earthberg Gully Too tall. For that bit. Oh, there's going to be a lot of heavy breathing. getting off to get under that tree that's two dabs oh nearly nearly a third but not ah oh, three
makes it. Come on. Yes. Successfully completed Earthberg Gully. With only four dabs. Five if you include getting under that tree. Whew. Oh, and I've got a stick. Ha, 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 ha.